All right, day two, folks. Yesterday was pretty good. We got the jacks down. Uh, that was fun. Gag grouper's primary target. We'll have a king mackerel rig ready to go, though. Um, there might be Spanish Macs, too. I need to catch those. They should be around, I think. Uh, water's probably like 69, 70, so it's still in that mackerel, still in that mackerel range, and it's probably going to drop. Today might be the only... Today is a good chance it might be one of the few days we'll get a shot at the Spanish and Kings because uh, it's supposed to hit the 50s. Dude, last night, oh, I came here. It was like 85 during the day and like 75 at night. Oh, camping in Florida and that, man, it was rough. Some thick fog today, man. That's not good. You know there's sheep's head there. That's a sheep's head magnet. What's that? I just, I think I just missed. Just missed it. There we go. Oh. Hopefully a bluefish. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Oh yeah, we got king mackerel bait. Yes, in, yes indeed. It's another species on this list. Lizard it is. Lizard fish. Just the right amount of wind. I'd like to keep one gag grouper. All right, we're making our way to the promised, the promised land, the gag grouper promised land. Damn. Cast it and let it hit the bottom and slow retrieve. That's it. Nice gag right there. I don't know. Let's probably take a quick measure of him. I think these things hit like freight trains, man. And that one hit on the retrieve. A 20 incher. Twenty-one. Cool. Over here, I can tell. Get tight, get tight, get tight. A little dinker. Probably about, I don't know, 22, another one like that size. Nasty teeth on them too, huh? 20, 22 inches is the biggest so far, man. I think all we got is that lizard fish here and a couple, you know, a couple smaller ones. one they're biting here they're around I'm just gotta find a big one you know 
it seems like they're hanging right behind. Every all the hits I'm getting are right on the corners, out of the out of the current. Oh, we made a little move. That feels like a fluke, man. Nah, another gag. Ooh, look how pretty he is. All lit up. The tide's not ripping. I don't see it fucking crawling through there either. Huh? I think this ain't that light of a rod. I guess it's in comparison to what I've been doing. Oh, look at this little guy here. Place, this place is crazy today. Definitely just started laying down on it for us though. Got him. It's better fish for sure. This one might keep. This one should keep. Gonna be close if he doesn't. They hit with so much freaking power. Ooh, 23, huh? Who would have thought? So much power on those hits, man. Look at that gag. All right, all set and done. Um, so the hatch issue, right? Um, here's Bobby's for the day. Decent amount. That's kind of normal though if you ask me. And here's the 2019 Outback. Let me show you how much water I got in my hull. Um, so it's uh that's it. Yeah. A little trickle. And it's not like I didn't take a beating out there now. So some hatches seem to have no problems. Some do. So uh, that puts the end of that debate. Otherwise, it performed, it performed well. I actually liked it for what it did today. So, um, slow day, slow day. So let's see what tomorrow brings. Lizard fish and a bunch of gags, no keepers. Put in the time today, it was, um, we'll try to revisit this again. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Whew. Huge temperature drop today. Uh, totally different attire, huh? I'm still in Florida. Uh, the temperature drops significantly overnight. We're gonna look for other stuff today. So, um, Mohara, Gar, if I could find them, maybe I'll go into some brackish waters right now. Um, so Mohara, Gar, Ladyfish. I'm gonna try to at least find some resident tarpon rolling around. Um, not necessarily catch one, but at least see them so I know I should come back for them. So tarpon's definitely at least to scout and look for. Um, so yeah, those are basically what we're looking, that's basically going to sum it up what we're looking for today, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yep, and today's date is, uh, December 5th. So, um, yeah, so yesterday the gag grouper, well, I, I'll explain to you how we caught these guys. Uh, all we did was we rigged up swim shads, uh, ounce and a half jig heads, and we pitched them at the bridge pilings. What I learned was different about the gag grouper than black sea bass, which I have experienced targeting at least the bigger ones. Black sea bass, typically, I don't know, lower third of the water column. These gag grouper a lot, a lot of times like to chase and follow the, those swim baits back up to the, the top. So we're getting them on retrieves. You know, they weren't holding only to the bottom part of the structure necessarily. So that was kind of like striper plugging almost. I would say those gags were hitting like stripers. But biggest fish was 23 inches. Um, I broke off one, you know, it hit and wrapped me around instantly. So I don't know, you know, that could have been a nicer one. I don't know. I'm gonna try that again. Uh, that was fun, but looking for bigger fish, 
you know, maybe if I had better conditions, it's interesting how they totally shut down with the, what we call the casual outgoing tide that, you know, never got over a half knot really. Yesterday was the first day I feel like underperformed, that I could have performed better if I had my shit together a little better. Um, at least getting the better yak group or, you know, an Albi, something like that out there. So just walking away, the lizard fish was, yesterday was the first thumbs down. So we got time to make that up. Right now we are looking for river tarpon. Holdovers um, moved to a totally different location. And I'm gonna look around for them. See if I can find them. All right, it's time to start looking. Looking for tarpon. He should be here somewhere. Lady fish. You know what? I'll keep them for bait. Oh, you know what? Maybe later. Got there. Jack. I think that's a jack. Ooh, Pompano. Pompano. You guys want a pompano? I don't got ice with me. I was just playing catch and release. All right. Nice pompano. Huh? I'm trying for tarpon. I didn't get any trout, no. Yeah, it's a nice pompano. Man, of course I don't have any ice with me. It's too hot out. Next time. Next time, we just jig pompano and ladyfish, adding to our list. Uh, we're looking for tarpon, but should be around somewhere. I used to do that for a living. <laughs> not, a, not diesel though, electric. Vertical jigging, really. I mean, sometimes I'm casting and bouncing back. I'm looking for tarpon. Resident tarpon, rather. Pompano and a ladyfish. So that's two species. Got to try to find a nice snook, too. Next on the list there. Keeping an eye out. Um, chose flat calm because then I could see him rolling. Unfortunately, I haven't seen any roll. All right, folks, that's it for today. Pompano and ladyfish got knocked off the list. I saw a gar here, so I have to come back and try to catch a gar. I, don't, I gotta research how to catch them properly. I don't know, actually. I really haven't caught many gar. I know they consider a nuisance. It's, they probably hit up high in the water column, is my guess. But uh, still looking for those tarpon, too, man. They're not, they're not where I kind of thought they would be, so. Uh, Right, well, next time we'll come, we'll bring some ice. Especially since we can catch a couple of pompano. It's kind of cool. So, uh, yeah. Let's get back to the car. Sun is going low. And back to the campsite. Tomorrow, another day, hopefully we can catch some more, some more fish. So, we we'll fished with over here for these fish. We put pompano. I'm using, like, the darker colors because this river is it's clean, but it's tannic. It's got like a darker shade to it. It's a three inch DOA, um, three inch DOA uh, paddle tail, a darker color. And uh, yeah, a little more. All right, back to the car we go. Next time, folks, next time.